Hi, this is Matt Panzer, and I'm demonstrating our ClipPad plugin for Vectorworks. A ClipPad is like a uh, multi clipboard utility for Vectorworks. Um, it has three commands. Um, I place them in the edit menu. Um, there's cut to ClipPad, copy to ClipPad, and ClipPad. Uh, these three commands are very similar to the uh, the regular cut, copy, and paste commands. Um, and since they are so similar, I've also given them key commands that are very similar so I can easily remember them. Okay, to uh, demonstrate clip head, I'm going to go ahead and just select an object here. And let's cut it to the clip head. And we can name it here or just keep the default. And now that object just was cut over to the clip pad. So now when I run the clip pad command, uh, you see here is a preview of the uh, clipping. Um, there's also a pop-up that will show all the clippings available in the file. Um, there's only one now. And there's buttons that will let me cycle through again if there's multiple clippings. So here um, I have an option to paste it in place, which will paste it where it originally was or I can have it center in the view. So I'm going to paste it in place and it pastes it back where I had it. Another uh, option I can do is uh, I'm going to select some uh, objects here and I'm going to go ahead and cut these but I'm going to choose to cut from a reference point. So uh, here, I'll just name this small roof and create this new clipping. And now since I'm creating from a reference point, um, it's asking me to pick that reference point. Um, now just say for some reason we wanted to choose this point back here as the reference point. I can click there. And now uh, those objects are in ClipPad. So let's go back to ClipPad and you can see our objects there. Um, now you also notice a red locus point and that's actually defining the reference point. So it's showing you that, uh, that that's the location of the reference point. Um, we can paste it by the reference point as you can see here or we can uncheck that and paste only the objects center in the view. I'm going to paste it by the reference point. So I'll click OK. And it's asking me to pick that reference point. So in this case, I'll go back to that point and click there. And there's our objects pasted again. Here's another good example of using the uh, reference point in uh, ClipPad. If I go to a sheet layer, in my annotations of this plan, if I select all, the, I only have one object in here and it's just the title. All the annotations are actually on a design layer. So let's say I wanted to uh, copy and paste those over to the annotations. So I can go over here and edit the design layer. And I actually have a specific layer for those annotations. So if I were to copy these and then uh, go back to my viewport annotations and paste in place you'll see that they're they're not in the same position and that's because the viewport was shifted since it was made so uh, I'm going to delete those and let's go back to that design layer okay so let's select these okay so here before I cut it I want to see the plan as well so I'm going to gray those out so I can see and snap to them. And I'm going to cut to the clip pad and cut from a reference point. So create a new clipping. And I'll just pick some corner of the building for reference. So I'm going to click here at the corner of the garage. And when I do that, now all of my objects are gone. And they're all placed in the clipping. So. I'm going to go back to the viewport and now I'm back in the annotations of the viewport 
and let's call clip pad up and here's my new clipping here so I'm going to paste it by that reference point so again we can toggle that on and off so I'm going to do that and and now zoom in and click on that same corner okay and there are my objects all in place correctly aligned to the uh, the plan there okay I'm going to go back to this uh, roof layer uh, and demonstrate another feature. Um, now, let's see what clippings we have so far. So, we've got a few in here. We can cycle through them. Um, I have this main roof. There's actually a couple of those. So, here I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. And this main roof, well, I kind of like to, uh, to have the entire roof saved with that. So I'm going to exit out of here. So let's say I wanted to include this small part of the roof into that same clipping. So I'm going to copy to the clip pad and here I have an option to merge with that clipping. So here I can merge with, uh, with whatever clipping I'd like. So I'm going to do that and click OK. And now when you go back to the clip pad you'll see the uh, the entire assembly as one clipping. Another feature in ClipPad, um, let's say for instance we had some objects in the clipboard. I'm just going to copy one here in particular. And when you go to ClipPad, you'll see a, a small preview up here in the dialog of the contents of the system clipboard. So what you can do there is actually copy that over to a new clipping. And I'll click OK. And now you'll see that clipping show up here, like so. And in addition to that, we can also take a clipping that we have in, in the clip pad, and we can copy it over to the system clipboard. And now that we see that, we can uh, exit out of here and I can go ahead and paste in place and you'll see those that uh, object was pasted right there. Um, ClipPad also actually stores all of the clippings as symbols in Vectorworks. So um, these uh, clippings are specific to the document you're working on. So when you create clippings they stay with your document. Um, now, being that they're symbol-based, I'm going to go here in the uh, PanzerCAD data folder in the resource browser, and you'll see here PanzerCAD clippings. So in here, you can see symbols of all your clippings. So if you really needed to transfer some of these clippings over to another document, um, as long as you put them in the same folders in your other document, then uh, those clippings can be transferred over to to uh, other documents.